Hi, my name is Abigail. I am a student at Lowell School. On behalf of Lowell, I'd like to welcome you to Climate Generations Summer Institute 2019. As part of Lowell's climate education program, I volunteer with the Mobile Climate Science Labs, which brings hands-on labs and activities on global warming and energy to the community in fun and exciting ways. In February, my classmates and I presented at the American Academy for the Advancement of Science Family Science Days. For two days, we taught the public about climate change, global warming, and the greenhouse effect using infrared cameras. The long wave infrared cameras show people how they glow with invisible energy that can be blocked or trapped by solids, like glass, liquids, like water, or gases, like carbon dioxide. The shortwave infrared camera shows people how scientists measure the health of plant life from space on satellites like the GOES-S and GOES-R. To learn more about the cameras and how to use them, we took a field trip through DC and we were startled by just how much energy there is all around us that we can't see. In March, we joined a group of more than 100 students on Capitol Hill to tell elected officials just how important it is for Congress to act on climate. We visited many offices and met in person with our representative, Jamie Raskin, and our senator, Chris Van Hollen. Next year, we have big plans to make a series of climate education videos around D.C. We will bring up-to-date scientific information and hands-on demonstrations to kids, parents, and teachers online. If I can be an effective climate educator, I know you can do it. It is incredibly important that you teach climate change to your students and that you integrate a variety of math, science, social studies, and language arts resources to give students a holistic experience. Climate change is the most important issue of our time, and it will be solved primarily through education. I want to thank my humanities teacher, Dave Levy, and my science teacher, Lucas Kelly, for giving me so many opportunities to learn and act on climate change. I also want to thank Jim Callahan of Mobile Climate Science Labs, Christine Poppleton, and Megan Van Lowe from Climate Generation, and Frank Neopold from NOAA for making the summit happen. I am so excited that the Summer Institute for Climate Change Education is happening at Lowell. Welcome to our city. Thank you, climate education teachers.